impression about the drone you face in the Chiba United? I think that, like I said it before, that in this stage of the competition, you cannot expect to play against any easy opponent. It's very tough. Why? Because when they come, when they came so far, it means they showed quality. And if we talk about our next opponent, I think that they lost only one game in the last uh, five games. And it just speaks to the new staff, the new coaches there. It's a very tough team to play against, very strong, physically strong. So yes, it will be a very, very interesting game and we will prepare ourselves, of course, to make sure to increase every possible chance to win the game, to make our goal come true and this is to be in the semi-final. Coach, against the general, uh, another new player, another new goal, goal scorer, just how excited are you to have, you know, the option? Absolutely. Like we, I think that when you see how many young players we we uh, have in, in our team, and how many young players we we gave a chance to to show the quality, and now again with uh, Debbie and Lou Zwane that came in and scored also a goal, it's just unbelievable. But he deserved to get the opportunity because he trained well. He he was with us in the pre-season in Antalya and there you could also see that he has a quality but of course like with every young players you 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 have to uh, let them or let them improve a lot of uh, tactically sides uh, but all in all he can if he improves if he works hard like he did uh, the last weeks and months then he can be a very very fantastic options for for us and uh, and be a great player, of course, in the future. What would make a successful season for you, coach? I mean, looking at the Netbank Cup, looking at where you are in the league, what... I said it, I said it in front of the season. We have to, to be a very real, a realistic thing that we have to be in the, or we want to be in the top eight spot, because when you see how many teams you have in the league that has a lot of financial strongness, and our goal is to be in the top eight spot. We reached already the black label final for four hours. It's just a beautiful thing. And if we can reach now the semi-final, we know that there anything can happen. So to reach also there the, the semi-final and to be in, in the end in the top eight spot, it would be just amazing because this is then the, the next step. We improved in every season and after that, we will set up new goals, but until now we have to be focused and stay focused to, to make our dreams come true and goals also. And okay. sorry to, okay, no, mine is just outside of actually the competition, so you can okay. go and Coach, I'll speaking of Black Label, you reached the final, you had a good run, unfortunately you lost in the final on, on penalties. So Mip, what lessons did you take? Or did you learn from that cup that maybe you should implement to this? Lessons, I think, to miss a penalty, you can't get so many <laughs> lessons there. But I think that we played a very good game. We were very close to win the final. We had great opportunities during the 90 minutes plus the extra time penalties. We know that it's also a little bit luck that you need to come through. But the experience will help us because when you reach a final, it means that the players can see that everything in their lives is possible if you put the hard work, the right attitude, the right lifestyle in front of you. And if you like to improve, everything is possible. And this is how it is. I always said it also when I was a player, hard work beats talent and this, and this speaks a lot and this is how we are driven. Coach, I wanted to ask about, I don't know if you guys still talk, but I mean, as a player that you've worked with, uh, Pele Leteto, for a youngster like that to go away and then things don't work as he had hoped, have you been able to, to talk to him? What have you made of his situation? I think that Teto is not our player and I don't want to talk about uh, players that are not in my squad and uh, I can only 
wish him all the best and that he can reach the, the goals that he set for him. Okay. And uh, in, in terms of your in, in your game yesterday, I mean, your centre back pairing was quite good. Seema and uh, just forget the name of the. You know, Kabini. Kabini, yes. I mean. You have to prepare yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's something that just you know pops up now because I'm just thinking about thinking back to you, and it's something that just stood out for me yesterday. Mm -hmm. Just how even under attack they were always calm, able to play from the back, able to just uh, drop into the midfield. I try to ex explain many times. Look, we we are a club that we have to build up young guys. We have to build up or improve players that come maybe from NFT. So it means that we have a squad from 22, 23 players. And this gives every player a chance to improve. It's my philosophy, it's my way of uh, believing. And if you, if some player stays and he trains exactly how the first 11 on, on this stage plays, and he sees that what we want, how we want to play, and what's the tactically approach, and and everything, then it's much easier when he jump into the game that he knows exactly how we want to play. It makes for him easier, and then he can show the real quality. Is the same if the under 21, under 18, 19. Imagine if if everyone trains the same and wants and want to play the same attacking style of. Uh, game it's much easier because the players that come into the higher uh, age higher groups and maybe to the first team he knows what he should do on the field it makes much easier us if the under 20 maybe plays a style of long balls under 19 plays a style of playing uh, of a lot of possession under 15 plays other style of play the first team plays a totally a different style. Imagine there the player has to come from long balls, approach to a team that wants to, to play. It's not easy. So it means we have to keep going and this is what we do. Everyone knows how he wants to play and it makes for one of them easier because we have 22 very, very strong players in our squad and we make sure that everyone will know when they, when they are needed, like now, that they can show their real quality and this is what they did and we are very proud about it. And out of interest coach, uh, something that I mentioned when you when, when you came here, what, what have you, as a former uh, goalkeeper, what have you made of the the level standard of goalkeeping in our not just in your team because we've had you know other teams with younger goalkeepers others you know have been you know experienced and so on but but from from someone who who knows the the, the, the position quite well. You know, I have to be now <laughs> very, very, um, what I say, look, careful. yeah, careful, exactly. Look, when you come from a, a, a country where probably you have the best goalkeepers in the world, Germany, if you see how they are in the world with Ter Stegen, Neuer, Oliver Kahn, Schumacher, and so on and so on. Then you have a different thing, and when you see how fit they are, a very strong-minded, very fast, very good with both feet, because this is the level where you have to be on. Then it's not so easy because, and it's not, and it's of course then they're not fair when you come here and see something that is not on the right path. But this is, I think that this is enough, and I don't want to say anything. I think that uh, I care about my goal keepers and we improve a lot we improve a lot and we want to improve even more and this is what I care about everything else I think it's not my business and I will let it be there. just a follow-up coach because I wanted to ask that you know out you know even if you don't speak about other goalkeepers but when you look at the the profile of the South African goalkeeper and what you have seen from where you come from and and your understanding of of the position what do you think we can do to get you know the best out of our keepers to promote to produce better goalkeepers even with the profile of the players that we have i think that you have already a very very fantastic outstanding keeper in uh, uh, ronnie williams from sundowns fantastic with the feeds understanding the game great shot stopper it's just unbelievable 
how we played also the Afcon, how we play the the, the leagues. Because I think they only concede five goals, five or six, I think five. It's just amazing, and he is, and he could play in every other clubs in the world because I rate him very high. Yeah, and, and you have you have quite some keepers in your league that are top, and you should just uh, keep going. Okay, coach. Uh, speaking of players coming from uh, NFT, there's a player in your team, Mojeda. What have you made of his performances in his debut season? <clears throat> Mojela, Mojela and Samir and a lot of other players that came to us, they have a great character. They want to improve themselves, they want to reach their goals and this is the only way because if the players, if the players don't want to improve themselves, you as a coach, you don't have a chance. So it means if a player has an unhealthy lifestyle, if he is not focused at the training, how you how you can help him? It's it's almost uh, 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 possible, but it means if the player are very very clear in his head and wants to shift uh, the next level, we are here to help them if he helps himself. And, and this is what I always say: we have fantastic players, we have fantastic uh, right attitude players, uh, uh, characters that you can actually win something and this is what we showed I think until now uh, during the season yes we know that, that we didn't win the, the black label cup but we were close and this is also the, the right step in the right uh, direction thank you thank you James and of course we need attention <laughs> Robert. but the funny thing is that you recognize the cameras or <laughs> cameras